If you put an MP3 file onto a compact disc, does the sound quality get better? This is from John in Ohio who writes, now this could be a stupid question, sir. And, and let me start out by saying, John, thank you for asking it. There are no stupid questions. The stupid question is the one you don't ask. So, you know, not with me anyway. Uh, CDs and audio CDs that one burns from a 320 kilobyte uh, uh, per second MP3 file purchased from Google Play, etc., is the final product in its CD audio form for all intents and purposes sonically the same as just purchasing the CD from an album? And I, I get the, the answer is no, but I get the essence of the question. I have a CD and Whatever's on that CD is CD quality, right? I mean, well, I mean, it's on a CD. And, and the answer to that is no, because a CD is a data quality disk. Now, I could take a CD and I can put a Word doc on it. So the type of file on a CD, uh, if it's a data CD, which um, isn't necessarily authored the same as a, as a, as a CD itself, but it's the same technology, the same laser, and the same bit, um, is agnostic to what it actually is. So I can put pretty much anything on a CD, and they, you get, what, 700 and, I think it's uh, 720 megabytes, something like that. Just, just under a gigabyte of data is possible on a CD. So a CD, as you probably know, is 44 one, 16, uh, uh, you know, 44,000.1, uh, sample rates uh, per channel and you get two channels and they are at 16 bit and we've been through the bit and the sample rate before something we probably should cover again because it I, I've seen that it takes maybe five six seven times upwards of ten times of somebody seeing it from this angle and that angle and this angle and then all of a sudden the light bulb goes off and ah each of those sample rates is a snapshot and the bit depth is how high we can measure the voltage change, right? That's our dynamic range and the sample is how high our frequency can go. And at, over time when it keeps getting said over and over and over, you'll finally, you'll get it. I promise. And if you stick with me, I'll go over it until I'm blue in the face because I don't mind, I enjoy this. Anyway, um, so an MP3 file is an MP3 file. W what is an MP3 file? An MP3 file is what we call a lossy file, meaning it has lost information, regardless of its speed. So MP3 works by a very complex algorithm that judges the sound as it's being recorded. So when there's a complex musical passage going on, let's say the band is playing really loud, the idea is if a band's playing really loud, you're not likely to be able to hear some of the soft things that are going on in volume below those loud trumpet blasts, right? So if I had like a little uh, brush stroke or, or some shuffling of the feet, when the band's playing loud, it's probably close to impossible for you to hear that. Yet on a lossless file, which is a CD, that information is contained whether you can hear it or not. On a lossy file, what they do is they have these clever algorithms that take away uh, information, so there's less information, but that information has been deemed not relevant, not hearable. And if done properly, you can get pretty good. You can do pretty well with that, but it's not lossless. There is lost information, and it's just not there. How, how, how much you can perceive of that? Well, that's up to the individual. It's up to the system that you're listening to it. You can easily hear an MP3 file on a highly resolving system like we have in Music Room 1. But just taking a lossy MP3 file and putting it onto a CD does not a CD make. Hope that helps. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.